Hello everyone and welcome back to Vilnius University Business School. We continue our series about global entrepreneurship monitor results and today we talk with Ayman Arandi about uh, his views on entrepreneurship and business development. Hello Ayman. Hello. In relation to resilience, okay, uh, we see and global entrepreneurship monitor shows that during the last 25 years, um, the capacities of resilience in general have increased among entrepreneurs. This is true. But still we have some uh, uncertainties. We, we live actually in a very uncertain world. Uh, we just globally uh, um, went out from the whole COVID situation. Um, many countries experienced the impact coming from uh, uh, Ukrainian-Russian war. Okay, we have uh, challenges uh, as well related to the civil war in African countries and so on. Uh, we have uh, also the challenges related to our energy policy, to different prices, uh, and, and we never know what comes next. So, um, on, on the one hand, we see that business try to, 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 to find out how to be more resilient. On the other hand, they really need an advice. What else to pay attention to, uh, what other elements of resilience might appear. So what would be your advice, how we can increase still being on the right path, but still how we can increase uh, our resilience uh, when we talk about new startups or even when we talk about the already grown up businesses, the mature businesses? Well, first and foremost, it starts with the entrepreneur himself or herself. So having a, a strong mindset helps. And, and now um, there is a, a large body, a a body of research um, telling or uh, shedding the light how we inc can increase our grit, how we can increase our stamina while building, building the business. That's, that's within the self. The other component is the team. Building a business requires a group, takes a small village. So surrounding yourself as an entrepreneur with, uh, with the right team, with a variety of uh, diversity of personalities um, and different, uh, sometimes different values can really help to keep this uh, uh, grit and persistence to continue forward. Outside the, the company or the startup itself, then comes the ecosystem. Then we talk about uh, policies and, and what government and uh, organizations supporting entrepreneurs can do. For example, uh, reducing the tax for the, uh, for the first couple of years in order to help the entrepreneurs launch their journey. So, and and many, um, many other different policies that can be uh, put in place. And the GEM is, is a great resource to, to see a guide how, how this can be improved. So, Part of it is on the entrepreneur, part of it is on the environment, and the third part is on the society. Luckily, now we see more and more um, acceptance and encouragement for young entrepreneurs or businessmen in order to, to take failure as a, as a part of this journey to success. Mm -hmm. uh, 50 years ago, 30 years ago, it was a bit uh, different saying go to going to your parents or going to your uh, friends and saying I want to start a business versus now. Now you will have more support. So the effort can be, uh, can be done by multiple parties in order to increase our resilience. And the last thing to say, this is, this is as much as business is an art, as much as it is business at the end. So the success is usually for the most resilient ones. Thank you. Thank you, Ayman, for your insights. And dear all, stay tuned with uh, Vilnius University Business School Science Insights and meet here more guests with whom we will discuss global entrepreneurship monitor results. Thank you all.